One of the, the, the design considerations when making the valve was if the valve is located in a pump station, we know that this valve is designed for dirty water, we know it's designed to seal without pressure, so the, the possibility of the valve leaking is extremely remote. But in some cases when a pump starts, there's a small amount of water discharge which is quite normal. And one of the options or that comes standard with the valve is a threaded outlet. This is a swivel outlet that fits on the discharge of the valve that gives you the ability to pipe any moisture discharge away from electrical components or anything inside the pump station. That's standard with the valve. In some pump stations, especially on pump suction lines, uh, air valves typically are not used on pump suctions. Why? Because usually on pump suctions you have very low pressure and very low pressure means the valve leaks. We have the valve that has uh, that seals virtually on zero pressure. It will hold pressure and will not leak. When the pump starts, the, the problem that occurs is that when a pump starts, usually the air valve goes into a negative pressure condition. In other words, it starts drawing air in. And that's useless on a pump suction because you lose the pump prime and the valve stops working. So one of the functions which we have is called the C10IP. IP standing for inflow protection. This screws onto the discharge of the, the valve itself. And what it enables you to do is that if you install this device onto a pump suction, it allows air to discharge, as I demonstrate here. <laughs> air is able to discharge, but when the pump starts, we do not want any air to come back in. And here, I'm demonstrating that you cannot blow air back in. So on a pump suction line, this is an absolutely perfect design, which we can now install to ensure that we maximize a pump suction ability, we stop air pockets being drawn into the pump, and we stop pumps losing their prime. This is called the C10 IP for inflow protection. Now, in addition to that, one of the things which we also have, instead of inflow protection, on a pump discharge, in many instances when the pump is running and uh, the, the valve is under pressure, under power failure conditions of a pump station, when the pump drops out very, very quickly or there's a rapid change in flow, in many instances, the air valve will allow large amounts of air to come back in. And as the column rejoins, we actually generate water hammer as the column comes back and it charges in the valve. We have a mechanism called the C10 SP and the SP standing for surge protection. So this is an ideal product which can screw onto the discharge of the valve is designed to fit on the discharge side of the pumps. After the pump check valve, what this product will do is that when the pump starts, it will alleviate air out of the pipe at a slow controlled rate. When the pump stops and there's a high vacuum condition, in other words, air is being drawn into the pipe, this valve will allow large amounts of air to be drawn into the pipe. But as the air gets drawn into the pipe, when the column comes back together, we control the rate of air discharge. So for example, we might allow up to four to 500 cubic meters an hour of air to come back into the pipe, but we will control the air discharge at an airflow somewhere between 100 to 150 cubic meters an hour. Bottom line is, is that if you're designing a pump station and you're concerned about water hammer, if the pump stops or if there's power failure condition, the C10 SP for surge protection is an ideal device, simple, without, with very few moving parts, that you can install to minimize water hammer on the discharge of an irrigation pump station. It can also be incorporated in the field. So if you have a pump station transferring water in the paddock through to a dam, which might be a kilometer or two kilometers away, sometimes in the paddock you have very, very low pressures. And again, this valve having the ability to seal at zero is gonna be ideal in that case. But under conditions when you have very, very low pressure, when a pump stops, you have a phenomena called column separation. Now, column separation is when the air valve goes into vacuum and large amounts of air is drawn into the pipe. And then as the column rejoins, we generate water hammer. So again, like the pump station, the C10 SP is ideal to be used in locations along transfer pipelines where there's a possibility of column separation and this minimizes water hammer. In other words, this is a protection device used to safeguard your pipeline and pump station in an irrigation scheme.